Um, I'm so excited to be here. And now, Qualis Cloak Alciam, Iskwatalchi CISM, Solana Eshtenewaji, La Klim Blue, Dewayu, Nuxak Mohaka Bay Quint, Dawawanuth, Beatrice Anderson, Chief Sam George, Chief Joe Ortiz, White Owl House of the Wolf, William Booth, Violet Atkinson, Dawawanuth, Timakochi Chante, Tanakuts Nalak Suida, Planila Limina Utsu, Awamiam Dinganwalt, Nilawan. So I just said my three Indian names are Solana, Eshdenewaji, and Lachlan Blue. And I said, from the heart of the ocean to the heart of the prairie, the universe sings to my soul. And because of God, it'll be done, so be it. And it is in radical humility and prayers to be with all of you today. Um, as executive director and principal of Advocates of Sacred, I wanted to share some Ayak Adak, some ancestral tellings and truth with you today. Um, as a mother and grandmother, daughter, sister, and an ally of humanity, I am a traditional pipe carrier, so I have a Chinupa, I'm a sun dancer, and I'm part of the Smokehouse Secret Society lead doctor for my family and my people over here in the Northwest. Uh, my objective today and tonight is to advocate for our children, our greatest resource, um, for them to recover their highest selves, for them to connect in inclusivity and love, and to be reminded of their birthrights to heal, to be reminded of their birthrights to reconcile any generational stuff that has been passed on or that is being seen in the community right now. And it's a privilege and an honor to be asked uh, to read the story tonight. I was joking around with Gloria um, because I'm a traditional storyteller. I usually don't read books. Um, <laughs> however, I'm, I'm just excited and honored. I have a ton of um, Native books and writings. And it, it reminded me that uh, when I was searching through the books today, um, how badly we need more more. Uh, there's a lot of creation stories that I share that I have that are not written. And that would just be so amazing and fulfilling for folks to read those stories. Um, although my favorite part about reading stories is remembering them to retell them, to retell them and use our sacred breath and remember what happened in the story. And so prior to reading the story tonight, um, I wanted to preface a little bit and just remind folks that Mother Earth shows us all these examples of collaboration. Ex like, so what happened tonight for this presentation, um, Mother Earth shows us that outside. So Mother Earth shows us these successful relationships within each individual plant, food, and medicine. She shows us the protocol of those of nature of the forest. So there's trees that are the vanguards of the forest that are fire resistant to protect the rest of the forest. There are certain trees that will be able to bend in the wind and be really flexible through the storms. Um, again, to protect other plants and mammals. Um, there's mammals that are the vanguards of other mammals outside. And for the parents and guardians and folks who get to take care of these little ones, um, it's just, you know, another reminder. And for the little ones, um, if you ever want to test a theory or if you need to be reminded of what is true or what is false, you can just look outside and the evidence is all outside. The only things that promote life are there's evidence outside. Okay, so when we feel mad or greedy or jealous or some, something that kind of makes our parents upset, um, and it's probably not a, a, a feeling that's going to help you grow. <laughs> However, it's so important to acknowledge that. Okay. And the evidence is always outside. I just, I can't stress that enough. Um, how special and how important our little ones are that they're our greatest resource, um, of humanity. Awesome. Okay. So this book is called the star people and it's a Lakota story. The Lakota folks um, lived in the Midwest. They first occupied the territories by Minnesota, and then they were forced 
to move to the North Dakota, South Dakota region. And so that's where they live now. Um, however, a lot of Lakota folks live in many different places around the world. Uh, they're not just living in North and South Dakota. But one special thing about the Lakota people is that they also have traditional creation ceremonies and stories, and they put a lot of their stories in book form. Um, so it's pretty neato. My children are also Lakota. So I know a lot of the Lakota Dakota ceremony and spiritual ways. Um, so this book I thought was most appropriate for the ages of the littles tonight. So it's called The Star People, and it's written by S.D. Nelson. Okay. Okay. Is that? Okay. Young Wolf and I wandered far across the prairie. Being his older sister, I wanted to show him the wonders of our world. Look up, brother. Do you see how Father Son travels high in the sky during the day? And see beneath our feet, Mother Earth is alive with growing things. My little brother looked for a long moment, then said, Sister girl, I cannot see our village anymore. Let's stay for just a little while longer, young wolf. I said, then we will go back. We sat in the dry, sweet-smelling grass, watching the clouds drift overhead. Young wolf pointed and said, sister girl, that cloud looks like a buffalo's head. We both laughed with amazement. There's an eagle, I cried. So. And horses, said young wolf. The cloud spirits are playing above us. I told my brother, sometimes they take the shapes of animals or people. The clouds are alive and we all call them cloud people. As the cloud people change their shapes, the face of a woman emerged. Look, my brother gasped, grandmother, elk, elk tooth. She died that spring and we missed her very much. As I looked, I realized the clouds had turned dark in the distance. Lightning struck the dry earth. The day is coming to an end. I told young wolf, mother and father will be expecting us. Uh-oh. Overhead, birds cried. Rabbits, deer, and other animals bounded past their eyes wide with fear. Something was terribly wrong. I smell smoke, said young wolf. A prairie fire came. We joined the fleeing creatures and ran for our lives. Mother, father, we cried, but our voices could not be heard above the roaring fire, and we had wandered so far from our village. The flames were catching up to us. The smoke made it impossible to see. I stumbled down a hill, and young wolf fell behind me. Rolling down the hill, I despaired. We would never see our home again or mother and father. In the next moment, we were in water. Water in the blinding smoke we had filled and we had fallen into a stream. Come on, I cried to young wolf as I pulled him deeper. We clutched each other and hunched down. Only our heads poked out above the water. The fire leaped from bank to bank. Angry flames flew just over our heads. Hearts and ash fell on us, but when we were not harmed, then the fire was past us, flashing to nothing in the distance. Look, brother, I said to young wolf, who was softly crying. We are safe, be glad. The fire did not catch us. I coaxed him out of the water and up the bank. A strange blackened land stretched before us. I knew that I had made a mistake by wandering so far from home. Now I had no idea how to find our village, and the dark of night was near. I tried not to cry, but tears came to my eyes, and I comforted my brother. Sister girl, young wolf said, sister girl, the stars are dancing. I looked up high above us. The stars were becoming shapes as the clouds had done this afternoon. First there was a coyote, and then a bear, a hawk and many other creatures, both animal and human, chanting the star people. They are the spirits of the old ones who once walked on this earth, I told my brother. 
here. Okay. Young wolf was first to see elk tooth woman dancing among them. It's my grandma, he cried. You are safe now, my little young wolf, she whispered, holding out her arms. I am here, my sister girl. I was delighted to see our grandmother. Young wolf was happy, but confused. He said, Grandma, I thought I would never see you again. Smiling, she drew us close to her, tenderly rocking back and forth. Beneath a heaven full of stars, we fell into a deep sleep. Young Wolf and I dreamed of green prairies and our village. In our dream, we could see our mother and father. Both were searching frantically for us. They feared the fire had taken our lives. We called to them, we are here, we are safe, but they could not hear us. In our dream, raindrops pattered upon the burned ground. Wildflowers grew and crickets chirped. Moths fluttered about the cool moonlight. Creatures crawled from the safety of their burrows. Badger, lizard, turtle, and rabbit. The wild ones gathered in a circle dancing. They chanted a joyous song. Thank you, raindrops, the fire is gone. Thank you, sister moon, the fire is gone. Hey, ah, uh, hey. Star people above, we are alive. Hey, ah, uh, hey. In our dream, grandmother and young wolf lifted their feet to the beat of the drum. I joined in their dance. Together, we all gave thanks. In the morning when we awoke, I felt an emptiness in my heart. I missed our parents. Young Wolf felt the emptiness in his stomach. I'm hungry, he said. Elk Tooth Woman laughed. She took us to a place where berry bushes had escaped the fire. We ate our fill. Then grandmother said she would take us home. We traveled a long time across the burned land. In places there were flowers and green grass untouched by the fire. That was a sign of hope. Finally, we came to a hilltop. Looking down, young wolf howled, there's our village. I turned to grandmother. Our mother and father will be so happy to see you again. She shook her head. I can go no farther. I must return to my home in the sky. Young wolf clutched elk tooth woman and would not let her go. Tears streamed down his round cheeks. I pleaded with her to stay. Drawing away from us, grandmother smiled and said, don't worry, my sister girl. My young wolf, I will always be with you. The star people are always with you. Look up and you will see me among the stars. So young wolf and I returned home safely. Our parents wept with joy to see their children and they were very angry with us for wandering so far from home. But ever after when my little brother and I walked beneath the star-filled heavens, we felt comfort for we knew our grandmother and all the star people were watching over us all the time. That is the end of the story. So thank you, everyone. I'm going to pray that the truth keeps everyone warm and safe.